hello and welcome back to my channel my name is denny if you're brand new thank you for stopping in if you're an oldie but goodie welcome back so today i have my five favorites on friday this is a series i started about a month ago and i said i was going to upload more favorites often and i kind of like forgot about them here we are i have one today and in doing this i found that i have more than five favorites so we should have a video coming very soon after this one but let's get into this video if you're interested in seeing my favorite products here we are one of my favorite products is the blonde me keratin restore bonding mask this right here is it says here that it's for all blondes but honestly it's just a hair mask that is great for all types of color hair it doesn't really necessarily have to be blonde but it does work out really well for people who have blonde hair because blonde hair gets damaged a lot faster than other types of hair anyway this is completely empty as you can see I put this in my empties and I talked about it and it just smells so amazing it really helps to make your hair feel nice and strong and silky it just it's just an all-around good product. This one right here is from Schwarzkopf Professional. I'm not sure if they sell this in stores. I usually get mine at Cosmoprof. And I did see it on Amazon. I don't know if this is something that is sold at Sally's or if it's not. Because I don't know if this is like a professional product or not. In any case, I will leave details down below if it is. But um, if... If not, you can definitely pick it up at a Schwarzkopf school because they sell their products there for people. So I love this stuff. In any case, the next product that I have here is a melting balm. Uh, skincare is one of my favorite things and I can't stress it enough. You have to take care of your face before you apply anything for it to feel smooth. You have to make sure that your face is nice and clean. So here we have from pharmacy the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. So for me what I do I like to double cleanse. A double cleanse just simply means that I go in with a cleansing balm just like this one and I remove all of my makeup first and then I go in and use my cleanser that really cleanses my skin. Uh, the reason why I need the first step is because eyeliner, mascara, and those things are really tough to remove from your eyes and this really breaks down those types of hard makeups. Even some foundations are really, really difficult to remove, especially if you are a full coverage babe. You know what I mean? You need something that's just a little bit tougher that's really gonna melt down everything. In any case, this one in particular is from Pharmacy. However, the brand and the name doesn't really matter to me as much, but the product does. So this one was really good. And I say that because I started out using Clinique Take Off the Day, which is a great cleansing balm. And I found an affordable one through Ponds that they sell at Walmart and it was like $7.99 versus the, I don't remember how much the Clinique is. And then um, I've tried other indie brand ones and now I have this one. So the, the product itself is what I'm seeing is my favorite, not the brand. In any case, this one, just fell out I has a spatula that goes with it I've used pretty much up and as you can see it's like a green color in there and this one has a like fragrance a like flowery minty type fragrance but, but it doesn't feel minty on the skin in any case this is one of my favorites I'm babbling on the next favorite that I have is a highlighter I love my highlighter you guys already know this this is old packaging. This is the Ofra uh, Rodeo Drive highlighter. I'm going to have to show you. This is like one of the older packaging. It does come in new packaging now. I've already hit pan on it. And this is a humongous highlighter. I love this shade. In particular, the uh, Rodeo Drive. It's just such a nice... I can't even... This doesn't give it any justice. Like, let me... Let me take a brush, any brush, put it in there and then show you how amazing. Look at that. Look at, 
that shine i i love i love highlighter and this one right here just gives like the softest nicest glow on your skin i did put it on this morning it's kind of faded at this point but this is one of my favorites if you are into highlighters i think this is one that you can use with just about most skin tones uh because it's not too dark but it's not too light so I think it's a like in, a good in between type of goldish highlighter. Highly recommend. A another product that I really don't talk about often on this channel, which is some lashes. My favorite brand of lashes is Ilor. Ilor has the softest band for lashes you could ever use. Also, they have like that permanent arced shape, which is perfect for the eye. Uh, I don't find that with many other brands of lashes that they have like such a soft band and that it's nice and arched like or curved the way it should. But Ilor definitely has some amazing lashes. This right here is a pack, a multi-pack, it's a three-pack of the uh, 114s, which are really soft looking. They're very natural type of lashes. I don't think they're like out of this world uh, but I do know that they give you like that just subtle nice lift that you want to have when you put on eyeshadow not unlike the ones that I have on today I have some really crazy um, out there fancy lashes which are beautiful as well but they're not from Ilor this right here and um, I guess in another video I'll talk about the glue that I use for this because it's also my favorite all right, so the last product or the fifth product is what I use to apply my makeup, my sponge. I'm going to show you this dirty thing because it's right here. This right here is the Juno & Co. Microfiber Velvet Sponge. It's my favorite. I love the application of foundation with this. It just really, it doesn't soak up the product. It really just puts it right onto the skin it feels really nice and soft it has that velvet feel to it that is just like kind of airbrush effect that I really like I love this sponge I love this more than the regular beauty blender there's a lot of people who have mixed reviews about it but this is one of my favorites and I definitely recommend uh if you're a full coverage type of person that wants your foundation to just be on your face and um, for it not to soak up in your sponge this is the one this is where to go and it comes in a package like this because this is my backup one actually this one's a little pierced so I think I'm going to be getting rid of this one and I'm going to start using this one I also have this in a different shape for sculpting the face I just can't rave about it enough those are my five favorites on this Friday. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my favorites. If you did, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my Guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.